Have I fell asleep? I think we both did. Hey, what time is it? Nearly four. Why? Oh, great. I'm running late for work. Well then, we better get a move on. Hello? Anybody out there? Our long-awaited meeting has come at last. Who are you? Only thing I can say, that you are the reason I gain more power. That blue box wasn't here before, I'm sure of it. We probably didn't notice it. We need to go now, but you can come out later and explore it. Uh, hey there, where, where am I? Wait, no don't say. I. I don't feel so good. Wait, where am I? Welcome back, Doctor. Hey, you were the guy that said I was giving you power, but you never told me why and how. Indeed, you are correct. So, how long did it take for you to finally come to me? A long time, Doctor. Ever since your 11th incarnation. That's a bit too long, man. You should have given up. Sorry, Doctor, but I have spent many years trying to take your mind, and I refuse to give up until I have full control of the powers you will give me. You need to leave me, or I will make you leave. Sadly, you can't, because you have nobody who will save you from this dreaded nightmare. I will stop you. I am the Doctor, and I always stop the villain. Yes, can I please get an ambulance? I have someone who is unconscious. We need to tell him about the screaming. Uh, oh, yes. Just as he fainted, he started shouting and screaming that the nightmare is growing. Now we need a plan. An excellent plan. That can stop whoever is trying to take over my mind. Wait, it's alright. He just woke up. Although, he said something strange. Hey, what are you doing? We're phoning help for you. Why help? I'm perfectly fine. Well, except for that monster inside my mind trying to take over me. But for the rest I'm fine. You clearly are a weirdo, so I'm going to leave and on my way I'm going to find an ambulance. He's disoriented. We should help him. I don't want to get involved. He's clearly insane. Don't you guys remember I'm standing over here? Well, anyway, does any one of you have an idea to stop the guy inside my head? Sadly no. But do you, Barry? Well, we are down one. Anyway, let's get inside my box. This is like Star Trek on a whole new level. That's the first time someone said that. Are you an alien? Well, to you, yes. But to me, no. What? What is happening? I need to try and remember what to do when the source takes the TARDIS. Who or what are you? It's a being from another planet. What? It is fine. I will give him what he wants. My power is growing. What is going on? We have entered a black hole. No, what's happening to my powers? Well, I flew my tortoise into a black hole, which is draining your power. Velox 6 is where your body will lie. Will it? Where is he going? It doesn't matter anyway. Better take you back to Earth. Well, this is amazing. Simply amazing. Can I see more? No, not right now. Give me a month, okay? Sure. Why do I keep coming here? Well, sorry that it has been three months, Fraser. I never told you my name. Well, it's a long story. A story you have seen to have forgotten. But why did you say you'd be away for a month? And why is this ship a blue box? When I first got it, it could disguise itself as anything. But it got stuck in this form in 1963. I've grown to it. Okay. So how is it big on the inside? The inside is a different dimension or something like that. I'm sorry. I've traveled alone with this body for around 400 years. 400 years? Your body? What do you mean? Remember, 
I'm an alien. We can, well, change our body when we die. So how does your ship work? It's called the TARDIS. It can travel anywhere in time and space. But it's not what I'm going to ask you. What are you wanting to ask? Anywhere in time and space, the beginning to the end. Where would you like to start? Is that an invite? Yes, it was.